Alright guys, so <clears throat> here to show you uh, just uh, beadlock wheels that I printed out for this guy. I don't know if you guys remember the HHP uh, 118 uh, buggy tires that we used to use for crawlers way back in the day. Well, I brought them back just to see if I can make these beadlocks for them. You know, just, just to test it out. Um, went ahead and made two versions. I have the one where you could put the... Uh, nine millimeter spent uh, bullets in there uh, spent cases and then I guess you can fill those up with um, lead or something and then I have these here which are just mimicking the holes because they have um, the back ring is actually a plate that closes up the wheel and uh, as you can see right there that's just the whole plate the closest the whole wheel and that's for one reason and one reason only uh, because um, I figure not everybody's gonna want to put the the bullets on this you know to give it that extra weight uh, figure give you another option these right here uh, they're closed in the front they're hollow inside and then you close them up with the back ring and then you could put the, any weight you want in in there um, I believe these turned out to be 45 grams of weight. Uh, I don't remember how much these are, but I'm gonna take them off and weigh them so that we could tell how much of a difference it is. You know, weighed and weighed down and not weighed. Uh, weighted. Uh, what did I use to fill those up? I used these little beads, metal beads. Um, these you could find them on those uh, wrist weights or you know ankle weights that you buy at the store uh, all up in there the weights that are in here that's not sand like a lot of people think it's actually metal beads and they're super tiny they look like a bird shot um, I think that's just a cheaper way of doing it because if you were to buy bird shot then that's really expensive and you know for the amount of uh, material you get out of these for the price that you pay you're better off just getting this but anyways um, that's what I use to weigh it down um, thinking about making a wider wheel this one I made uh, seven millimeters wide because I wanted it to match the width of the of the my class so you can see they're about the width I kind of came short on this one I should have made it maybe eight millimeters instead of the seven but um i didn't want it to be too wide because i you know i wanted to be able to use some properly and um that was the width that i thought would work out but that's why we try i mean they look good they work but I'm thinking i might have gone a little bit skinny on them anyways if i make them wider I'm going to be able to put more weight and I'll be able to go more than 45 um, grams on them, which means they'll get super heavy. Uh, the other thing is you don't have to fill them up completely inside. If, um, if you fill them up halfway, the weight is always going to be in the bottom. So that's going to lower the center of gravity so, um, because these guys are just going to roll up in there. And uh, it's just going to be all the weight on the bottom of the wheel course it's not going to give you the full weight the full 45 grams if you do it that way uh, unless you go with the wider wheel that I'm gonna make in a few minutes and um, then maybe you can make it on that if you fill it all the way like this one this one uh, I guess it's like 75 80 percent full and um, it weighs 45 let me see if I can make it nah you can't hear it ah I want us to hear it. Anyways, let me take it off so we can weigh it real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. No camera tricks. Just gonna take it off. Da -da -da. This is how we do it. Okay. So you come out of there. Love these little guys. Easy to work with. <laughs> um, I guess that's the difference in height between these guys. quite a bit taller I mean these wheels I like them 
and I didn't like them too much because they they make crawling too easy so when your crawling is too easy and you find yourself having to you know build harder obstacles and finding different places that you can crawl it kind of takes the fun out of it uh, these as you already know <laughs> I don't like these <laughs> anyways um, I'd rather do the Mickey Thompson's the, the smaller ones but anyways let's go ahead and weigh this guy real quick and here we go boom, boom, boom. my trusty scale from Harbor Freight don't be hating you know you guys are jealous not <laughs> All right, so, oh man, so close. 45.4 grams. Uh, the, my claws are 23.2. Um, notice that I do have the metal ring as a ring instead of the plastic one, and I have one in the back as well. So those do give this one a little bit of extra weight. And even, even with that, it's, what, 20 grams? It's 21 grams lighter than this one. Oh, you can hear it. It's got those little balls. All right, now let's go ahead and weigh this one. Dun, 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 dun. That's, yeah, that's it. Oh, of course I gotta get the, ah, that last nut out of there. Yay, come on. You just don't want to come out, do you? Watch it fly out of my hand. Come on, dude. Okay. Man, I really pressed that one in there. Come on. Twenty-four. Okay. So no extra weight, 24.7, is that accurate? Yeah, 24.7, extra weight, 45.4. So, uh, 20.7, almost 21 grams heavier. I could have gone heavier, like I said, it's not completely full. I would say it's about that height and fullness, but um, I might have been able to squeeze in a couple more grams in there uh, to make it a uh, 48 or something like that. But as you can see, the weighted ones is t a full 20 grams heavier than the non-weighted one, and this one, even though it's not weighted, it's still heavier than my claw with the two metal rings. And the nuts. Okay. There we go. 23.1, 24.7, So that's where we're at with that wheel. Um, yeah, that looks crazy. Anyways, um, oh, the other thing I got to show you guys, um, I was looking at this and I was trying to figure out what I could do with these shocks because, you know, like the front ones, especially after I did that other video, I was like, man, I don't like the body going up so far without any restrictions. So I kind of figured out a way to stop it a little bit. I don't have it. All the way right now on this one because I still wanted it to drop quite a bit but I went ahead and figured out that you could put a spring inside the shock right under that little bolt that holds it and you get that spring from these guys right here these mechanical pencils uh, pen gear they're super cheap I got it for a buck at Walmart and um, you just gotta, of course, take it apart and then you can get the spring that's in here and you can actually fit that spring 
inside of the shock under the that little bolt that holds the shock so what that does is you know if you have the springs outside that gives you a little bit of resistance going up but then the one inside gives you a little resistance coming down so it doesn't just drop you know it comes down so that's some um, nice little change I put in there and it feels a little bit better um, it's late right here so I can't drive it right now but I'm gonna try to put a video tomorrow so I can see the difference um, also probably gonna try that um, little incline thing to see if I can get it um, to go a little bit steeper I think the last video we got stuck at 50 degrees um, if I could get 55 or 60 with this setup I'll be happy um, it's gonna look pretty crazy but should be alright and uh, pretty much that's it um, that's the way the wheel locked in the back ah also I might put some holes back here because I do have these rings and I kind of feel like I want to use them so I might put these uh, the bolt pattern on the back of this so you can bolt any rings that you have that are weighted on the inside so you can weigh it down even more you know might as well use all the stuff you have it's not gonna affect uh, the performance of it it's not gonna affect anything inside because the little beads are not gonna come out and uh, it's just gonna give you an extra option and I don't know I might paint these little round things here it looks too dark anyways Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if I bore you, but uh, here I give you a little bit of a quick information. Um, hopefully, if I find it in me to design the other ones, I'm gonna build uh, the one-inch ones so that you can use them on the stock wheels. You know, you can use them in my class or whatever. And um, I'll make in about, I'll make them like maybe 10 millimeters uh, or 11 wide, which is the stock. And you should be able to fit quite a bit of these in there. Not 20 grams, but close. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And see you guys later.